What's up YouTube, it's MikeJD60 here, and today I'm going to show you how to clean the carburetor on most John Deere garden tracks. So the first thing you need to do to clean the carburetor is that if you got this grill, you gotta take it off without breaking it. And then you've also got to get to this, take off this air cleaner and take the wing nut off. Alright, so after you've got the just take this and set it over here and put the wing nut in it so you don't lose it. And so after you've done that, I'm going to look in there in the air intake to make sure there's no rat nest in there. Or mouse nest. And you've got to take off these three bolts. Alright, so the size you'll need to take it off is an 8mm socket fits on the thing like that. Alright, so after you've got these three bolts off, it's good to put them in an orientation so you know which one goes where. So on this application, I think these are all the same thread size, but if there's a different size bolt on some things you want to make you want to keep it separate cuz you can strip the threads and be totally screwed. And so after you've got that out, you to take this off carefully. Oh, come on, get out of there. All right, so you got that out and then sometimes what happens is this doesn't come out all the way like that. And this is the part that goes for the air intake right here and it's on some things I've seen it where this is missing. This has to be here to run. It's not required but I recommend it because you can, um, it's not good for your engine. You can run hot. And so yeah, so here, right here is, is the carburetor. And to take it off, you will need a uh, adjustable wrench, which I'll get in a second. All right, so I've got some pliers here, and I'm going to use this one. It depends, but any any of these will work. This is, this is my favorite. So. And so also something that you'll need while cleaning your carb is you'll need one of these wire things. You need this to clean out all the little crevices and parts in the carburetor itself. So you'll need that or like a little one of those brushes from one of those um, whisks from one of those wire brushes for like pool supplies and stuff. Just any small wire will work. I'm going to take that off. Um, let's go right under here. And so if you are previously run this, ran this engine, you might need you might have some gas come out of here, which I am. I just ran it like yesterday. So just let that drain out slightly. So with this, you want to get it snug. You don't want to get it tight. Never get it tight. Oh, gas going everywhere. Oh, gas, 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 gas. gas. Alright. 
So after you've got it off, look in the carburetor, make sure there's no gunk in it, which there isn't. It's just gas. And so when it's dirty, you'll need a cloth, which I will get in a second. And so to so when they say clean the carb, usually if it ha if it isn't terribly bad, it just means clean the bowl out, which I'm gonna do right here for y'all. Set this up. Take the rag that and then go in here. Basically clean it like that. Get it nice and clean as much as you can. This is an old rag. You want to do this an old rag, you don't want to ruin your nice kitchen rag because you might get mad at. Um, basically clean it the best you can. And so after you have cleaned the bowl, set it over here. And then check out the float to make sure this is moving. And if that's moving, that's a good sign. That you that might, might not take much to revive this thing. And so also one thing you want to check is this gasket up here. You want to make sure you want to get that off intact, which it is. It is in fact intact. It's just I don't want to pull it off right now. You want to make sure all these cables are moving. If this thing is really, really bad, you might have to do a carb rebuild, which isn't terribly bad. So, so yeah, after you've got that off, you want to take wire and you want to stick it up. There's a hole actually in up in here somewhere. You want to put that in to get it. Make sure it goes into all the spaces and there's get it all cleaned out. And make sure the carburetor is nice and clean. And so some something that can be often overlooked is this bolt right here. This bolt has, let's see, has a hole in it that lets gas in, and it can often get plugged up. Uh, I'm not seeing it on here. What the heck? I'm not seeing anything on here. Oh, so on these, there's going to be a hole that goes straight through, and something goes straight down, and a hole that goes straight down, so you clean gas up in the carburetor. Um, so yeah, you want to make sure these are nice and clean. And to do this, that's the whole purpose of cleaning the carburetor. So after you've done that, there's you want to reassemble the carburetor. And there's something I want to point out real quick is on some of these engines, some people think there you don't have to adjust the valves on these, which to be honest, you actually do. But it's not it's not really un that common to do it. Um, I might end up doing these, but I don't really want to screw with them right now. But behind this plate is the valves. This is where you would go and adjust the valves. I'm not going to take it off because I don't want to dick, dick with it, screw with it. So, um, so basically, yes. So I'm going to reassemble this real quick. I'll be back right with you. And so one thing you want to do is before you put this plate back on, you want to run this to make sure it actually still runs. So you don't want it to take this plate all apart again and headache and everything else that comes with it. So I'll stir it up for you and show you.
show you the gas and That's all there is to it. So once you've done that, now you can put this plate back on and make sure this hose, this um, crankcase blow-by hose is still through here. It won't run right. All right, so now we got this back on. So now you put this air cleaner cover back on. Put the wing nut back on. There we go. And so basically after you've got that on, obviously go and test it to make sure it works before putting the air cleaner cover back on. And so, uh, it's basically how you clean a carburetor on most John Deere garden tractors. Thank you for watching. I've got a how-to on how to adjust the point. I've got one on the variator. There's going to be many, many more of these to come. See you all later.